hello today in this video i'm going to show you how to enhance your 3d render in photoshop now this is a render i did straight out of cinema 4d and we are going to enhance it yeah sometimes when you finish rendering you get this feeling that the image needed something right well this is what it need now uh, let's get started with the eye for the eye i think the eye needs some um, shadows because right now the eye is looking very white and it's not that realistic because realistically the eyelids need to be casting shadows to the eye white so i'm going to go and create a new layer zoom in to see it clearly and now with the polygon selection tool i'm going to go ahead and select the eye so when i have it selected I will select the brush and bring the flow down to 20 and just click around the eye to paint the shadows I'm just clicking I'm just clicking uh, the left mouse button to bring in the shadows now let's do the same step for the other eye and I will click here to keep uh, the both selection now select the other eye I'm just going to zoom in a little bit okay highlight is in the way so I'm going to select around it don't want to uh, erase the highlight okay now we do the same step with the brush hardness set to zero with a low flow just click click where you want the shadows to be uh, click around the eye area to um, bring up the shadows So now I'm done with the shadow and I can right click to the select to the select the selection. Okay, let's see the before and after. This is before and here is after. Much more realistic. As you can see now the eye, eye are much more prominent and very realistic okay now we are done with this one let's move to the next step which is iris glow i want the iris to pop out to have uh, some glow to it so this is what i'm going to do i will create a new curves adjustment layer and then bring the right slider to left you can see now the picture is being blown out but don't worry we are going to fix that so i can have this just affecting the eye race maybe move this one up then click on the layer and hit ctrl i on the keyboard to invert the selection so now i'm going to go in let me just zoom in select the brush tool make it smaller and the foreground color set to white just paint around the iris area just paint okay now you can see now the iris highlight are starting to show more and more okay let's move to the other eye and do the same thing okay now look at the before and after so here is before and here is after much more depth to the eye you can see 
but before the eye doesn't have any details but now you can see all of these details bring everything everything pops out all right now let's move on to the next step which is shadows and highlights basically what i'm going to be doing is to bring out those shadows and the highlights where the shadows and the highlight area are so i'm going to go in and bring them out okay so for that i will just create a new curves adjustment layer let me just bring this one down and in the tools properties i'm just going to bring the left sliders to right now you can see i'm making the picture dark because that is what i'm going to need for the shadows and bring this one down to okay hit ctrl i to invert it now i'm going to rename this to shadows and rename this one to iris now select the brush tool make it larger and bring the flow down to 10 then just click here make the brush smaller and paint around the eye down to the nose the side of the nose and this other side too around the other eye just where you think the shadows uh, are supposed to be and down to the chin area between the scarf and the face Okay, let's zoom out and see the before and after. This is before the shadows and after. You can see, uh, yeah, you can see what the shadows did here. Yeah. It's subtle, but it's very effective. Maybe add a little more to the side of the nose. Before and after. This is before. And after okay now let's move to the highlight and for that again I'm going to create a new curves adjustment layer go to the properties and slide the Y slider to the left to bring the highlights and bring this one down adjustment adjustment okay control I to invert and let me rename this to uh, highlight zoom in and start creating some highlight select a very soft brush with the flow set to low let's start with the lips so i'm going to paint and bring those highlights out make the brush bigger down to the chin area okay let's move to the nose and pop the nose out and uh, around the cheeks too up the top below the eyebrow and most importantly the forehead pop those forehead out so you go girl go rock that beautiful forehead <laughs> now um zoom out just look at the before and after amazing beautiful before after before and after and you can go in of course you know if anything looks too much you can go and lower the opacity to your liking okay now for the next one i want to create a uh, reds for the cheek uh, those uh, red cheeks because that alone do much 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 more uh, when it comes to a 3d portrait 
so for that go and create another adjustment layer just going to bring this one down go to the properties bring in those white highlights um, and then bring this one down to make it reddish bring this one forward again little bit okay now control i to invert it and let me rename this to cheeks red and then select really huge brush and bring the flow to 20 and then just paint the cheeks area on the other side too maybe make the brush bigger and paint again on the nose too down to the lips the chin and oh my god just take a look look at the before and after before and after much more realistic you can go in if you think anything is too much you can go and uh, reduce the opacity okay now let's see everything in action so this is before all the effect and after just look at how everything is really realistic. She goes from looking Aww. to Aww. you get the idea. <laughs> okay, now all these things really enhance your 3D render, make your render much more realistic. Because I see a lot of people when they finish rendering from their 3D programs, they just that's all they're done they don't go through any process of enhancing their render they just leave it as it is and that can be very poor to even look at okay now the next step for this next step i'm going to introduce some sort of blur to the image to create a depth of field to the image so to do that i'm going to now select the blur tool and i'm going to leave the flow on 70 and then just paint this side of the scarf and this really helps create depth of field the part of the portrait that are being moved away from the camera are blur so just blur around the edges okay now last but not least is the camera raw filter so to do that i'm going to select everything hold ctrl g on the keyboard to group them together and hold ctrl alt shift e to duplicate everything to a new layer now we are ready for camera raw filter Go to filter, select camera raw filter. If you want a very warm and saturated look, you can do that. And if you want a very cold and desaturated look, you can also do that. So the sliders, you can just play with the sliders. The camera raw filter is really something of a personal preference. So there is no right or wrong way to do it. You just have to be creative with it one thing and one thing I, I like about all these kind of photoshop techniques is you can all forget about that in your 3d software and then when you come to photoshop you can do all of that
okay so now this is the before and after before and after camera raw you can clearly see the difference okay that is it for this video i actually created this channel a long time ago like uh, over a year ago for the sole purpose of providing tutorials and knowledge you need to know on a lot of 3d 2d and all sorts of vfx editing programs and then came in a huge project really really big we are still working on it but then i said to myself you know what I'm not going to let this channel die and right now my subscribers count are really really low so from now on I'm going to try and upload at least once a week tutorials tips and tricks and all sort of creative artistic content because that is what I do so if that is what you do too or you want to do or you just like watching then please take a second to smash that subscribe button like if you like this video share and i will see you in the next one